Mike Peden here with a former Minnesota Lynx player, now a member of the Washington Mystics, Nikki Anasike. And uh, Nikki, I know you got in here last night, so how would you describe your turn visit? Um, it's been good. Um, I went, um, a couple of players came and picked me up. We went to dinner, um, had a good time. Um, it's just been weird, you know, coming back here after spending three years, you know, of, um, the beginning of my career here. It's been weird, but um, it was nice to see the girls again. The last time we talked to you, you were shared some of your historical research and some of the topics <laughs> you had shared. Is there any new subjects you've been studying? Um, there's a few different um, subjects that I've been studying. Um, I've been really looking into Booker T. Washington and what he was really about. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you hear kind of rumors and um, things about him in school um, and from other people making comments, but I never really researched him, so I've been researching him a lot. And what have you learned about him so far? Um, I think that he has a bad rap um, as being kind of a sellout or uh, Uncle Tom, but I don't think that that's necessarily true in a lot of different cases. And fittingly, his last name is also the name of the location you're in. And why don't you share the culture and the atmosphere you've experienced in Washington? Because I know you've had to put up with earthquakes and hurricanes oh, yeah. and some things you don't deal with in Minnesota on a regular basis. Right. Um, Washington is very diverse. Um, um, there's a lot of things to do. There was actually supposed to be a Martin Luther King um, ceremony going on on the 28th. But obviously with the natural disasters that we've been having, that was canceled. Um, but there's a lot of different events going, to, going on. Um, obviously, it's our nation's capital. Um, so it's a pretty chill si city, pretty chill area. You don't have any plans on moving back here, do you? <laughs> to Minnesota? Um, well, there's was... no earth or no hurricanes to worry about. <laughs> yeah, but then I'd have to deal with the snow. So, you play in the summer, though. Uh, moving back, well, I don't play here anymore, no. So uh, that'd mean I'd have to move back in the winter. So no, no plans. <laughs> And so, how would you say you've evolved and what have you learned uh, since moving to Washington and playing with a new set of teammates and kind of coming in as a rookie in that sense? Mm -hmm. um, I think I've learned um, that, you know, it is really hard to get adjusted and acclimated to a whole new system, whole new everything. Um, and you kind of just have to, in a way, throw out everything that you learned in the previous seasons and, and focus on that season and what that coach wants you to do and how that team plays. So it, it's been a challenge. And speaking of evolution, I know you mentioned you were donning orange this past week for in support of Pat Summit, your collegiate coach, and uh, her dementia diagnosis. What did she teach you? Because you played uh, with Parker and with Hornbuckle mm -hmm. that has helped you now in the WNBA. Um, I think just what she's doing now, um, being resilient, you know, she, um, she's one of the strongest people I know, um, so resilient, and I think that she's showing that now, especially with being so public, um, with, with the diagnosis, you know, I was telling Candace, I don't know if I could have came out and been so public about it, um, just thinking about how hard that must have been, um, so um, I guess she's taught all of us, just, you know, things are going to happen. Um, Things are going to get pretty tough, but you just got to keep a smile on your face and keep pushing. And I know we were joking about this, but what do you miss most about Minnesota and playing here? Maybe not the snow, but anything about the culture, the fans, and the mood here? Um, definitely. I mean, there was always a great fan base, um, the great season ticket holders um, that were always very entertaining. Um, obviously, coming in um, with Chardé and kind of just how we motivated each other. Uh, I definitely miss her because she's someone that's been there from literally day one. Um, um, and then just being familiar with the area, knowing where I'm going, where I am, that kind of stuff. You know, it's taken me a while to kind of get used to um, being in D.C. and learning my way around. Now, in your case, uh, Washington not in the playoff picture this year, but so what are you taking in these last few games to build and kind of adapt and, as you mentioned, integrate with the Mystics uh, for next season? Um, you know, it's been a tr uh, trying season for us all season, but I think, um, you know, we've tried to, to fight through no matter what and just try and not focus on the record, and I think that's what we have to do from here on out. We can't give up um, because, you know, it's almost over, and I think we'd look back and say, you know, kind of regret it if we did give up. So I think we just have to keep pushing. And once the season ends, it's 0-0 zero, zero all over again. Right. Anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching this? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. No old Minnesota fans you want to shout out to? <laughs> oh, of course. You know, um, I played here three years, obviously. Um, um, you know, the fans were really important to me. 
hopefully I was, uh, they feel the same about me, but definitely give them a shout out. Well, thank you for not abducting me and taking me back to Washington. Uh, and so in exchange, we gave you this and always nice to catch up with you and hope to see more of you as a career pans out. Thanks.